Hey guys, welcome back to Coffee With Me and Tea, I guess, or whatever, you know, hot beverage series this is. <laughs> um, so this week I do actually have two coffees that are going to be a little, a little late to getting here because I ordered some from across the country to get here, so a little shipping delay, but next week I'll have coffee. This week we're gonna chit chat about a little tea. This tea is one that I usually have um, kind of sporadically. It's a green tea and green tea doesn't super have like a big caffeine effect on me. Um, it's relatively light caffeine compared to like coffee, I feel. So uh, you're gonna make that with me. I just put my cup in the microwave. So we're gonna go ahead and I microwave that for a minute and 30 seconds going to show you the tea right here. So I learned about this tea when I went to Korea um, at this point a few years ago. <laughs> and it's basically just organic. It's like brown rice green tea. In the hotel, ooh, you're sliding. There you go. In the hotel, they had a very, um, I guess, like standard brand. It wasn't anything fancy. It was just, you know, a little morning tea making for yourself. Um, so when I got back, I immediately ordered that brand and it's fine, it's delicious, but um, I wanted to try an organic brand just to see, just to see, you know? So today, this is what we're looking at, so we're trying. Um, the Korean name for this is Hyunmi Gokcha, so Gokcha, I think it's Gokcha, yeah. Um, no, it's gokcha. Yeah, it's gokcha. Uh, so, so yeah, it's just organic brown rice green tea. It comes in this little, little, uh, packaging. It's really cute. Um, brown rice green tea is just supposed to be, you know, it's healthy for you. I have, like, a... I should have done a little like note taking for you guys because I do have notes on why it's good for you, but um, I don't remember them. So I'll put some little bonus details in the description box. Um, in the description box, if you, as always, appreciate any of the content I post, feel free to buy me a coffee. Any bought coffee goes right back into making this content. So, um, yeah, here's that. So I just let it steep for a little bit. I'm going to tell you guys about the flavor profile. Um, it's very, uh, like a earthy kind of tea for sure. I tend to like, I tend to like when my tea kind of tastes like the earth. So if you are someone that likes herbal teas, this is not the tea for you. If you're someone that likes sugar in your tea, um, this probably isn't the tea for you. Like there's no real like sweetness to it. It's just a very nice earthy tasting tea. Um, it's a pretty light green tea. It's not gonna taste like, I don't know if you guys have ever tried green tea from like Dunkin' or Starbucks. Those, if you steep them for too long, can start to taste very, um, almost like tart. Um, and this doesn't do that. You can kind of let this one steep for a long time or a longer. And I tend to just let the tea bag stay in there. Um, and yeah, it's just light. It's kind of like refreshing when you just want like a little bit of a hot beverage, but you don't want to go full caffeinated. <laughs> and green tea is just really good for your body. Um, so yeah, so, so that's the tea on that. Get it? Got it? Yeah, I make myself laugh, don't worry. Um, it's gonna steep here for another couple of minutes, but um, I can't really show you guys, but I'm gonna tilt it just so you can see a little. It's got a very light green flavor or look to it, so it's not very dark tea. Um, and and yeah, that's gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up there because it's still too hot for me to drink and sip on here, but um, I love it. Again, it's, it's Korean uh, organic brown rice green tea. You don't need to get the organic version. I probably will buy the regular version at some point um, to like just 
I guess do another review on this. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and a little tea cheers. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.